Uh, good morning. Um, where do you start uh, when you, you, you have a large tree of data that all connects to the trunk, right? So um, uh, uh, some of this is going to be cryptic, and I'm hoping that it connects to other information that you're aware of, okay? Um, but what I can tell you is a number of things. Uh, that's connected to other dots without having to just write and, and share a book. Um, when NSA decides to come on and, and change my Gmail account, that's a message, isn't it? Okay? That means they know who I am. Okay? They're supposed to know who I am. Okay? And why is that? They sent me a, a, an email, as I remember. I, it might have even been an Instagram, I forget. But I was sitting in a bus station in Sacramento when they said, where are you going next? Okay. <laughs> like they're asking me. Why would, they, why would NSA, okay, which has their big supercomputers and all that, be asking somebody like me who's out here living in a homeless shelter? Okay. Now, I realize most of you are never going to ever, ever, ever understand this, okay? And because if you can't start with Star Wars level, Star Wars level stuff, you're not ever going to understand it, okay? So sometimes I think, how can I um, impart, if you will, the larger perception of the cosmos that we live in uh, that begins with that, begins with that, Okay? There is what's known as an advanced intelligence organization on this planet. It's meant to contact and have relationships with advanced civilizations. Okay? So if you were going to raise a civilization to a higher evolutionary state of perception, you might want to send in some advanced scouts, set up an antenna, okay, and start broadcasting signals which essentially means if you're going to do it behind enemy lines, you better have a way to encrypt that in a language that they don't understand. Because it's so far beyond their ability in time, if you will, because in order for them to understand the symbolic language in which that language exists, doesn't exist yet for them. Because they're lower evolution. Okay? I have a word that we call for it. Max Spears, who is a super soldier, understands exactly what it is. It's called vampiric consciousness. Okay? So yesterday I have a friend of mine who uh, I may have mentioned him before. Uh, he worked in the SSP, which is the Secret Space Program. Okay? He's been getting bleed through memories. Uh, that he was a starship commander, et cetera, et cetera. Okay? So it's not a coincidence that him and I all of a sudden meet each other at some very specific moment on a timeline. Okay? One of the things that I did as soon as I came in here very early as a child was called mapping the grid. What is mapping the grid? You're mapping the field, which is mapping the consciousness, which is mapping the electrons. Okay? Which essentially means that when you think of units of allocation, go pull out a dollar bill. And there's a number on that. It's called an allocation number. It's an allocation number of what? Energy. They allocate units of energy. And it's called currency. Remember I mentioned in a previous video about um, uh, the clocks and the speed of the electrons? Okay, um, and so you're in an energy system. We're energy. That's all there is. Okay, so it's one of the reasons why I mentioned as a child I got to keep giving it away. Why? Because you want more of the electrons to flow. How does a seven-year-old child know these things at that age? That's called evolution. That's the evolution of your intelligence. It means your level of intelligence and understanding how the universe works is already known. Things that you know how it works. 
So you don't want your consciousness to be held captive to something that is lower in evolution, do you? No. Because they haven't learned how to become what she is. That's the purpose of a classroom. On a higher cosmic level. To advance civilizations. Okay? So that's why I got to keep giving away everything. Otherwise, I'm not being true to who I am. Remember, Shakespeare, to thine own self be true. So what ends up happening is people are held captive. And when she mentioned, uh, when I say she, I'm talking about a lady named Kim Possible. Okay? Um, I was sent a link by a guy that I just mentioned about the SSP. So that means when I get it, I know through him I'm supposed to look at that for very specific reasons. And, um, and in my second video, I'm going to have to go back and write down the information so I can provide it for you. That is, if you choose to do anything with it, um, that's always up to you. But what I can tell you is this. Evolution, even though we can get into sound and light and chakras and the light admittance of why, for example, the atmosphere will be indigo, okay, or blue sky, which is cool colors, but just to cool it down. But the evolution in the cosmos is not based on form, which means a particular species, per se, in terms of, oh, you look at that, and you think that, oh, that's lower evolution. That's the biggest mistake. See, for example, when people thought that the advancement of a civilization, because you live in a building, okay, and you've got plumbing and electricity and a TV set, that means you're advanced. Because you think technology is what advanced you. Okay. That's why all you have to do is look around at your civilization and realize who built it. Reptiles did. Okay? So when this lady named Kim Possible talked about, for example, MK Ultra, they know how to send thought forms into your head, and thus you do what those thought forms tell you to do because you don't know the difference between what that thought form is and what you are. So that's called advanced tech. So that's why when I got here and I came in here, I was already aware of it. That means that my state of consciousness and what I'm aware of is immune to that tech. Okay? Or beyond that. So you have to find a way to be able to what I call memory dumps. Dumping all their garbage. So when you become aware of something that gets recorded, it's sort of like this. When you walk into a system, into a lower evolutionary state of consciousness, and you realize everything that represents data, which is bits and bytes of energy, okay, that is getting recorded, and you're in essentially like a program, if you will, but you represent something higher than that because you don't run their shit. You don't run their program information, which is based on their MK Ultra programming which means all their thought form algorithms that they send to people. Because we can read the signal, and what the signal tells us is who they are. That's, way I, that's how we identify who they are. It's by their signal communications. Remember I mentioned before in a, in, a, in a previous video about communications? The universe, the cosmos, if you will, is a communication system. Who's communicating to who? And what is represented by the communication, by the bits and bytes? Because you can break bits and bytes into numbers and into frequencies of communication. So spiritual science very much has an underlying foundation based on math and physics. Because everything communicates with everything else, because then we become aware of what it is. So when you have a higher state of awareness, which means... You have reached a certain point in your own learning, then you know what it is that you are, and you know what it is that you're not. See? So when you've already reached a state of evolution in consciousness, and something else is trying to communicate to you that is less than what that is, then you know the difference between what it is and what you are. That's why these are classrooms.
to help other beings advance beyond their state in which they've been held captive by something that is lower in evolution, which is a reptile, because it's a predator. Predators did not create the cosmos, okay? Which is why one of the things that she mentioned yesterday in a lecture that she gave, that the light can remove every single one of these bad actors, which means every four-star, five-star general, everybody in the intelligence agencies, everybody in the military, everybody in the political system, just like that. Because they don't have any idea on the level of what we're capable of doing at the drop of a hat. Okay? We secured the timeline. Okay? So this is basically like, okay, ball's in your court, what do you want to do? We're actually giving you a choice to surrender. Okay? Because if you don't, we can just remove you all. And the next thing you know, you wake up and you realize, man, where'd everybody go? We have the power to do that. So another thing you might want to consider, and this is something else that I thought about is, um, and I sort of laughed at myself when I realized this, uh, when I have conversations with other beings that are already, if you will, at Star Wars level, and, and for me, beyond that, actually, um, because I thrive on goddess energy, okay? Uh, you know who your teachers are, okay? At the soul level. Um, and that has to do, if you've ever seen Star Trek or Star Trek Generation, Next Generation, how many of you remember who Serena is? Okay? When you go into a, being in part of a starship, you had, if you will, depending on whether you want to go to Star Trek or Star Trek Next Generation, I happen to prefer Star Trek Next Generation because that's more on a higher level of, of what's known, of, of what's possible, that they know how to do, that I'm familiar with. Okay? Uh, for example, uh, and this is where we get into impasse, remote viewing, uh, living through your intuition, things that you just always know because you're always living in eternal time, which means there is no time. I don't wear a watch. I don't go by a calendar. I follow my intuition. My intuition tells me what I'm supposed to do and what I'm supposed to know when I'm supposed to know it, which means everything's all is well. Everything will always be all well. Okay? That's why I don't have to have anything in material form. It's not important to me. Okay? It's not important for me to have a yacht, a boat, an airplane, houses, and all the rest of that. None of that stuff means anything to me, okay? <laughs> That's not who we are. That's not why I'm here, okay? It's for higher reasons than that, which is to help and assist. If I think of myself as anything, I'm a Star Trek navigator, a real Star Trek navigator. So if you remember who Serena is, for example... What was she? You remember who she was aboard the ship? She had a very specific job to do. Okay? She was a seer. Remember what I talked about before? When you're going at a very high rate of speed, you're using the energy of the dark, if you will, to go faster so you can see the light ahead of you. Serena's the girl that can see the light ahead of you. Okay? I'm psychic. An empath an intuitive psychic. It means we know where we're going and we're not afraid to go there. So it's like navigating through the cosmos because you can see what's ahead that poses a risk. If you want to get into risk perception, where we're going. Seek out new worlds. Seek out new galaxies. Seek out new superclusters. Okay? Because you're running, you're source-connected. And when you have what I call infinite love, which is infinite light, and you can feel that in your heart, because any time that anything that is alive or living, you cry in your heart, that's an enormous amount of light. That is an enormous amount of love. And when you have that much love in your heart for everything that is living in the entire cosmos, that allows you to see everything that's ahead of you. So what we do is anchor timelines so we don't lose you.
That's a cosmic antenna. It's like an advanced scout. Somebody that comes in to anchor that antenna to a timeline so we don't lose you. So a lot of us came in here at very specific points in time. So I jumped into this because I know the girl on the planet, the energy system. So anyway, um, the good news is, is because of, I'm sure that most everybody's aware that, that now we got all the goods on the Democrats, the demons, okay? And, um, and now we got all their crimes, or the CCP, the dragon families, okay? Reptiles, okay? Um, that essentially want to control everything, okay? Um, and control humanity. And so we're at crux right now, where now all this information is going to come out. How are people going to react to that when they realize their state of consciousness is being held captive by demons to harvest all their energy? Because that's what it is. It's an energy harvesting system. So what that means is, is that the idea of a classroom is to help learn how to be a self-sustaining unit, where you don't need any energy which means you don't need any money. You don't need any allocation units of energy in order to be what energy is. So when you become a powerful magnet and you're attracting the energy of the cosmos to be more what that is, you begin to realize, I never needed any money. No, you didn't. You never did. That's a trick. That's what a classroom is to learn how to do that. Okay? So they know how to do that. They know how to harvest your energy by getting you to believe that. And look how many millions of people we got to believe that. I shouldn't say we, they. That's the difference between me and them. That's why we're here. Is to help advance this civilization. Okay? So there's a lot of very powerful souls that are here. Okay? To help everybody do that. So anyway, I'll start with that, and, and, and I hope that it has value for you. Have a great day. I love you all.